one and we'll test it on YouTube. <laughs> so this morning I'm watching YouTube as I usually do on my days off. I'm watching Michael B the Game Genie. He has this top five most expensive video games in his collection. You're rich bastard. He has some really good games. Check out the video. I'm watching TV with my daughter in the morning just slowly waking up and he calls me out. Well he tagged me which really, it's kind of an old school YouTube thing. He kind of touched on it on his video, so check out Michael B. The Game Genie. Another channel that I obviously recommend, Canadian. But he tagged me in like a response, like I have to make a video response about my top five video games, or expensive video games in my collection, which I will do. I'm gonna do that at the end of this video. Look how gloomy it is outside. I bet you there was so much better shit here. I think it's worth it for that one game in there. Actually get that? It's very hard to shoot in there because she fell asleep on me. You made your friend put her face in maple syrup. I did. You saw that. That's pretty good. On our channel, that's a good thing. <laughs> maple syrup pickup of the week. But, anyways, how's everything? Good. Feeling great. Yeah, feeling good. That's fine. Almost done Christmasing. You still enjoy the YouTube life? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. She's in Hawaii, though, so we have to wait until the yeah. yeah. Dedicated to Carl Carmel yeah. Gaming. I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays on YouTube and my PS2 controller is not as responsive as I would like it to be. Now this looks like a cool option. A dual port adapter. I can play with a Super Nintendo controller but like I do mostly Nintendo Let's Plays. But this one for the same price you get like one. Now another option I can do is this guy here but that's 30 bucks. Personally I think this will be the most versatile. What's your most expensive game that you own? Probably Zombies Ate My Neighbors right now. Frick, I don't even have that game. <laughs> I have it in box. <sighs> From where? From here. I had it since I was about four and then I lent it to a friend and never saw it again. Hmm. Rap, what's the most expensive game you own? Marvels vs. Capcom 2. I bought it for like $120. <laughs> From these guys <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> before it was DLC, of course. It was funny because, yeah, you bought a Comic Con. I was there at Comic Con. Yes. You bought it. I got a Comic Con for he's like, 20. He, he's like, man, did you, can you believe you're selling a game for 124 And he comes up to me five minutes later about the game for 124 <laughs> So, you're new. What's your name? I'm Erica. Do you mind if I interview you? No. You like video games? Yes. Obviously. Yeah. What's the most expensive video game you own? 
don't keep track of my value. There you, there. Good answer. <laughs> I don't have anything worth value, at least I don't think. What's your most prized game then? Oh, Probably like a childhood game or something like that. I don't know. I really like Spyro, but like I don't even have all my games at my place. I just move out of my parents' house. You're the Spyro generation. Yeah. Okay, Kelsey's better. New character on her show. No dare, he's cut. Yeah, I'm sure Yoshi loves the, the strangling. Fifty Shades of Green. Fifty <laughs> Shades of Green. <laughs> So as promised, I was tagged by Michael B. the Game Genie, I just saw it this morning. He asked me what are the five most expensive games in my collection. That's a very hard question, Mike, but I'm going to try my best to answer it. The reason it's a hard question is because I don't really keep up to date with like price charting and stuff like that. So everything that I learn about like the value of a game, it's usually right after I buy it. I like to see how good a deal I got, like how much is it worth or whatever, but I never look back on it. Like I have an idea what number one is, but five to two are a crapshoot. I'll look up the values after I put them up here, so I'll put the values at the bottom. I don't know the values of them now as I'm talking to you. Number five. Michael B. cheated a bit, so I'm going to cheat a bit as well. Ah, the first appearance of our friend Ian Beardman was on a video that we titled... It's stupid. It's back when we didn't know how to title videos. It's like, Nate steals games from 64 by Matthew's hometown. Something like that. We traveled far to get this, so I guess you can factor in gas costs. Plus, I had put together a package worth in retail at the time, about 400 bucks. Maybe 300, I'm not sure. You'll have to check the video. Link will be in the description below. And I got back and returned a whole box of Sega Saturn and Sega CD games. And these obviously were the two cream of the crop ones and games that I was looking for. Guardian Heroes for Sega Saturn. I know this was re-released for some sort of digital download, so I don't know if that affected the price at all. But also came with Burning Rangers, which I know recently I saw in my local video game store. It was well over 100 and... Was it over 200 bucks now? I don't know. But these were in the same packages. My baby doesn't sound happy upstairs. Honey, you okay? Number four. Okay, we hate retail prices on games. That's what Thrift Dollar is pretty much all about. We always try to find the cheapest way to get games. And if that means buying the import versions of these games, all cool with that. Castlevania Dracula X. You saw it in a recent video. It was 200 bucks. So I got, uh, I got the Famicom, Super Famicom version, Super Famicom cassette from a good friend, Kitsu Yukin. And he also sent over Mega Man X2. Now for these, I paid... Probably a quarter of what the retail price was at the time. Which is obviously more than I... I like to buy games from the thrift store for two bucks. That's the bread and butter. But, like, obviously this is way below retail, so I had to jump on them. Where am I on? Three, number three. One of the first videos we ever put out on YouTube. Uh, we went to Valley Village. A bunch of these games were in the display. All of these were complete in box, but this was the cream of the crop. Lufia. And the Fortress of Doom, I think I paid 30 bucks, 50 bucks, I'm not sure. Vince McMahon just got punched in the face by Roman Reigns. Number, I think I'm on number two. I pulled out way too many games. My godson, I love you godson. I think I have recently paid him back in terms of gifts and stuff. Equal value for all these Pokemon games of his. All of these are complete in box with the manuals. And... I don't know what they're worth, but the values will be put down below. People are probably really mad that I'm just dropping them. However, I didn't really pay for them. But more importantly, Pokemon wasn't as important to me in my life. I understand its relevance in gaming culture. That's why I have it. And I have played, like, the first ones that came out, which I don't even remember. Before we get to number one, honorable mentions. I paid. This is probably the most I've ever paid for a game, like out-of-pocket cash from my bank account that I didn't use trade money for or whatever. Final Fantasy 2 is one of those games that I had to absolutely have complete in box because I love this game. And <laughs> I was purging my closet. I think I traded like five Sega Genesis consoles, complete ones for this game, Shining the Holy Ark, which is actually a really fun RPG. Really pissed me off. I replaced the battery on the back of my Sega Saturn, played this game for like three hours, and it didn't save. 
I was pissed. If anyone has a hookup on the memory card, or whatever you call it, for the Sega Saturn that goes in the back, you know, and saves all your shit. Please send me one. I don't trust those Dollarama batteries. And for the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop, my most probably most valuable game, I don't really remember, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, factory sealed, found at the thrift store. Five bucks, early days of Thrift Waller. I think I wrote about it in our vlog when we had written blogs. First appearance of Wario. Yeah, factory sealed, like it has the H seam and everything. We verified it with some professionals in the city. Professionals. And I'll put the current value of it here. But at the time, it was like people were asking 400 bucks for this game. I don't know if that's held up. We'll have to see. Yeah, we've recently done a lot of purging upstairs. And my wife has given me some things to organize. I'll show you here real quick. One day my mom came over and she was like, look what I found in your room. This is my old LaKit box. Actually belonged to my auntie before I got to use it for school. You don't understand how hot it was to have a pink one. And there was all these uh, Nintendo Game Pack cards in here. Yeah, like you'll see I'm missing a few. I guess I was starting to uh, organize these. These are my favorite ones right here, look. The punch out characters on them and stuff. Is my camera out focusing on that? Yeah, you got Zelda in there, Mario. Some really cool stuff, actually. So as promised, I did my top five most expensive video games, which was really a horrible list. But yeah, that really wasn't the best way to do it. So anyways, there's the blog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys very much for supporting Thrift Dwellers. Trying to keep our, our blogs pretty regular. So yeah, hopefully this backlit crap is not going to ruin this. But sorry if it does. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Please comment below. Let us know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you are really awesome. We do appreciate that kind of stuff. And of course, comment. We're going to start responding to comments left below. Like really interesting ones. We'll respond to all of them in writing. But if we don't respond to yours in writing, it's probably because we're going to respond to it in a video type format. So yeah, I really do appreciate all the comments. Thank you guys very much for watching. From Nate, Rams to Sleep on the Couch. Do you copy me? Like to a super odd, but you won't body me? Like that thing up on your wrist, I see you watching me. Better stick to Perry and cause you ain't blocking these. Yo, you don't stand a chance unless you can defeat my shin long. We've been strong. I uh, still haven't gotten around to replacing this frame. I think I have to go to Walmart to buy. Oh shoot, look at this. This was really cool buy recently. We should really do a pickup video soon. Um, or maybe keep it fierce like a hard punch on the battlefront I'm the one you should be running from